Robert, a dog that attacked and injured a nine-year-old girl will be allowed to live, at least for now. The city today reached an agreement with the owners of that six-year-old golden retriever that'll keep Buddy alive while his owners appeal a judge's decision to have him euthanized. Now, it was back in November when Buddy attacked a little girl at an apartment complex. News force Randy Escamilla first broke this story and joins us with news for Buddy's 83-year-old owner. Randy? Randy, they say cats have nine lives, but Buddy needed today's victory or where else it was all over. He's become a social media sensation and his lawyer believes public opinion worked in his favor. Right now, Buddy the dog remains on doggy death row at Brook City Base. But this morning, city attorneys suddenly agreed to let Buddy live while courts review his death sentence. Buddy's attorney, Michelle Maloney of the Mary Nell Maloney Law Firm, believes the city of San Antonio felt a groundswell of support in favor of the golden retriever mix. I think public opinion has really shown that people don't think that Buddy should be killed, and I think the city um, is, is listening. On November 1st, Buddy was with his owner, Homer Mojica, when he attacked a nine-year-old girl. Mr. Mojica says the girl screamed at and scared Buddy. He reacted by scratching the girl's face. Her family has told me they believe Buddy bit her and want Buddy put down. Maloney says there's no medical evidence Buddy actually bit the girl, but a city judge ruled Buddy should die because he violated the serious bodily injury law. Maloney is now working to rewrite that law. It goes beyond dogs. We are protecting people's rights. We are given rights by the Constitution of Texas and the United States, and they say you can't take away people's property. And right now, dogs are property. In the meantime, Maloney will be working to free Buddy from death row, placing him either back at home or at a shelter. That could happen next week. We called the city attorney's office for comment, but he was in meetings all day. Meanwhile, there is a protest scheduled next Saturday in front of the Alamo to shut down the city's animal death row at Brook City Base. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Randy Escamilla, News 4, San Antonio. All right, Randy, thank you very much.